Yo, what's going on everybody? This is your friendly neighbor on Punk and today I'm going to be bringing you a video on how you get 60 FPS running on Pokemon Scarlet. This is a mod, but it's more specifically going to be a cheat right here. We're going to be showing you how to apply that cheat and walking you through this right now. I want to make this quick and easy, so hopefully this isn't too long when we get done. Now I do want to clarify a few things in the beginning of this video. You're going to need to be on the 1.0.1 update. The 1.1.0, the newest update, does not seem to work with this mod, so don't use that. Just use the 1.0.1. Now you're also going to need a couple prerequisites over here on your graphics card settings, so let's do those first so I can kind of walk you through that. So on your desktop, you can right click and you're going to want to go to NVIDIA Control Panel. You're going to click and open that. It's going to take a second probably, but once that opens up, you're going to see you're under the Manage 3D Settings. If you're not, just click it on the side here. Next, what you're going to do is come over to Program Settings, and you're going to need to select a specific program. Mine already has Ryujinx. This is a tutorial for how to do this on Ryujinx. I will not be showing Yuzu, but it's very similar in all of the ways that you would do this. This profile setup you can do in Yuzu or Ryujinx however you want or whichever one you're using. So easily just click and select it from the drop-down menu. Now, you might not have it in the drop-down menu because you've never done this before. If that's the case, just click Add. Once that pops up with a menu, that will take a second, even with my beefy 3080 Ti in here, this is gonna take a hot second to show up, but then you're gonna be able to scroll through the list and see, you can start by recently used, or programs A to Z, Z to A, etc. Then you can select it from there and you'll get this setting. When you're here, there's a few things you want to change. Now, I have a powerful GPU. This is going to be what you're gonna to need to change right here. So it's gonna auto select. Just make sure it's selected on your GPU that you have, whatever that is. This tutorial is gonna work a lot easier if you have a NVIDIA or a GeForce GPU, but it's gonna work with others and I'll explain a little more details in a second on how that works. Next, what you wanna do is change your power management mode to prefer maximum performance right there. That's gonna be the easiest and best to give you a little extra power. Then you're gonna scroll down here Threaded optimization. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's off. It should be off by default, but just make sure it's off. And here is a very specific one. Turn off vertical sync when you are first doing the tutorial. Make sure that is off. If you have performance issues, you do not hit 60 FPS or struggle to even hit 30 FPS because you might have a lower graphics card, CPU or RAM, then turn this back on when that happens. Again, I repeat, Keep the vertical sync off while you're testing, but if you run into performance issues, come on back in and turn it to the on setting. So that way you're getting a locked 30 FPS on the game. You won't get 60 if your PC can't handle it, but you'll at least be able to get a steady 30. So once that is all done, you are all set. You don't need to save or apply. It automatically does that. There's no save button here. So just click exit. Once you're done with that, you're gonna to wanna to pull up the website that you see right here. It's gonna be linked in the description. This is gonna have a Scarlet Violet file. You can just click download. I already have mine downloaded, so let's pull up the download so I can show you that now. Mine right here, I have two versions of it for tutorial purposes, but here, let's show you the download. So you're just gonna click download and kaboom. Now you got Scarlet Violet 2, there we go. We're gonna close on out of that and we're gonna open up this folder. Within this folder, there is a couple of things you'll want to see. Pardon the loud vehicles in the background. So it'll open up the Scarlet Violet, and you have two different versions. If you're playing on Scarlet, select Scarlet 60. If you're playing on Violet, select Violet 60. Pretty easy to go and follow along there. Inside this, there is a Cheats folder. That is what we're gonna be utilizing here in this video, depending on which version you have. We're gonna put this over here, and right up in your Ryujinx, which is obviously what this tutorial video is about, you're gonna be able to see your games listed. So I'm gonna be doing my Scarlet one, so I'm gonna open up Scarlet right there. Then in Pokemon Scarlet, you're gonna right click on it, and you're gonna see Manage Cheats. This is where you're gonna be able to apply them, so what you're gonna to need to do is click here and you're gonna need to go to open mods directory. Then when you get to here, 
you're gonna see the title number for your game. If this is violet, it's gonna be a different number. So do it for your game, specifically go here. I'll show you one more time. Right click, open mod directory, and that's gonna have an empty blank folder. There should be nothing in here. What you're gonna to need to do is drag over from your version of the game, whether it's Scarlet or Violet, into here. In my case, I'm replacing the files. You won't be if you're doing this for the first time. When you go into cheats, you'll see there's a text document right on the top with some numbers and letters. The enabled will show up after you have already used it and loaded the mod. So you guys will not have that at the time of starting this. So once you have the cheats folder right in that numbered and lettered folder for the game, you can click exit. You can close down the Scarlet folder because you don't need that right now. Other than that, this is really easy to set up. So you can right click on Pokemon Scarlet and now click manage cheats and you can select your cheat. You can turn on both. You can just turn on the bottom. It doesn't really matter. Either way, make sure the 60 FPS is selected and highlighted and click save. That's all you gotta do and your game is either going to run in 60 FPS or it's not. I'm not gonna be able to show you the footage because sadly Nintendo doesn't like me showing off emulated footage of their game looking better than their version. So I can't show you that off so that way this video stays up for you guys to see. But let me show you a couple of options on how to get this running better if you're struggling or if your PC is not running well. The first option is obviously go back into your NVIDIA control panel and turn VSync back on. If that doesn't work, go on in here to options, go to settings, and make sure you have these set for yours. So under graphics, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure graphics backend multi-threading is on. This is very important. Next, Vulkan is going to be the better backend to use because it's gonna prefer and pick the specific GPU you have. So I always recommend Vulkan with this, but if you're having some issues, feel free to mess around with OpenGL and see if you get better performance. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below on your specs of your PC and if OpenGL or Vulkan is working better for you. Next, if you do have the preferred GPU, if you're not running in OpenGL, if you're running in Vulkan, you're gonna wanna select your graphics card. In my case, I only have the one, so that's pretty easy. You wanna make sure your enable shaders cache is selected and you wanna make sure your enable macro HLE is selected. Leave the middle enable texture recomposition off. That is not necessary and will actually decrease performance. Now, this is where your beefy graphics cards will come in to be useful. If you do not have a beefy graphics card, like a 3080 Ti, for example, go back down to native. Make sure you're up at 720p, 1080p resolution. If you're trying to go higher, you're gonna have significant, significant decreases in performance if your PC can't handle it. So I can run it in 1440p, 2160p. Some people can go probably crazier than that, but I find this is my sweet spot. Most people will have a sweet spot right here at the native resolution. Next, you wanna make sure your filtering is all the way to auto. Don't need to touch that. Doesn't do anything else when you really go crazy on this game. Doesn't make a big impact, plus or minus. And then your aspect ratio, I prefer 16.9, but whatever you prefer really there, I think 16.9 is gonna be the best ratio for most people and the average setup. Now with all of that out of the way, you've got your graphics, you've messed with all of that, there is only one more thing to do. Test it out. All you gotta do is load up the game. Again, make sure your cheat is enabled right here and you're gonna be set to go. I don't really have much else advice for you guys other than that, so make sure you got the right document for Pokemon Scarlet or the right for Pokemon Violet, depending on which version you're playing. Make sure you have the cheat enabled. Make sure the cheat is in the mods directory. If the cheat file is not under this directory, you will not be able to see the cheat here in the cheat manager. So that's a clear sign that you messed something up. So just rewind on the video and get that corrected. Also, there is gonna be a 60 FPS patch coming out in the near future, which someone will eventually release. There is a gentleman on Twitter that has made a real true 60 FPS, which is gonna be absolutely fantastic when that comes out. And we'll make a video sharing that when we can and when that's available to the public. 
currently it seems to be behind a paywall, which I haven't even been able to find or figure out how to access to test and show for you guys. But if I do, I'll make sure that I share that with you guys. Again, this works the best on Ryujinx. Make sure you have your most powerful PC you're using this on. If you have a little bit of a lower end or middle end graphics card, CPU, RAM, etc., make sure you turn it to that native resolution and make sure you're using Vulkan. It's gonna give you the best performance. Another optional step here, which I forgot to share with you guys for a second almost, is if you guys download this program right here, R-Y-U-S-A-K, you can open this up and get all the shaders for the game that you're gonna need. This works for all sorts of games. Absolutely fantastic. It works directly with Ryujinx. It puts it right in the right folders. You can download the keys. You can download new firmwares. You can update it right through it. It's absolutely fantastic. But if you guys get this and you wanna get the shaders, you can just select the game you'd like and if you don't have a higher shader count locally, if you haven't loaded the game in and played around for quite a while and loaded those shaders in, you can download it right here. And look at that, they got a bigger shader cache than I have, so you can just download it. Doesn't take very long. Look at that, it's about 10 seconds or so. You're successful and boom, now you got the highest shader count. It's gonna set you completely up to run this game the best it can for your specific computer. Okay, and one last time, you're gonna need a beefy computer to run this at 60 FPS, but if you can't, go turn on VSync and run it at 30 FPS. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, don't forget to drop a like again, and we'll see you guys real soon. Peace.